Good morning. Welcome to our Sunday School. So excited to continue with our study in the book of Philippians. The last few weeks we've talked about our purpose, we've talked about our attitudes, and last week we talked about living as lights for Christ. This week we're going to talk about relationships. We're going to talk about what it means to realize your relationship with Christ. Have you ever realized that something in your life uh, has no value and then you had to discard it? At first it brought you joy, but then as you got older, you realized that it had no significance or, or no value. Uh, it's like learning to ride a bike. Training wheels become very, very important in the process, but there's a point that you have to get rid of the training wheels and you have to learn to ride a bike. And even the training wheels staying on the bike can cause more harm than they do good. The value of something uh, comes from either your desire for it or your need for it. The things of this world are here to uh, be our training wheels or our training guide until we get to know Jesus. But once we experience Jesus, the things of this world no longer hold the same value. When you realize the value of knowing Jesus, everything changes. So we're going we're gonna to look at Philippians chapter 3, and we're going to start in verse 3 and read down through verse 14. So once you read that with me. Verse 3 says this, We put no confidence in human effort, though I could have confidence in my own effort if anyone could. Indeed, if others have reason for confidence in their own efforts, I have even more. I was circumcised when I was eight days old. I'm a pure-blooded citizen of Israel and a member of the tribe of Benjamin, a real Hebrew, if there ever was one. I was a member of the Pharisees who demanded the strictest obedience to the Jewish law. I was so zealous that I harshly persecuted the church. And as for righteousness, I obeyed the law without fault. I once thought these things were valuable, but now I consider them worthless because of what Christ has done. Yes, everything else is worthless, when compared with the infinite value of knowing Jesus. For for His sake, I have discarded everything else, counted it all as garbage so that I could gain Christ and and become one with Him. I no longer count on my own righteousness through obeying the law. Rather, I become righteous through faith in Christ. For God's way of making us right with Himself depends on faith. I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. I want to suffer with him, sharing in his death, so that one way or another I will experience the resurrection from the dead. I don't mean to say that I've already achieved these things or that I have already reached perfection, but I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it. But I focus on this one thing, Forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead, I press on to reach the, the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. When you realize the value of knowing Jesus, it changes everything. So the first thing that Paul is showing us is that he took a, a deep look at what he valued. And for us, we need to check our confidence and what really doesn't matter. If we look back at verse 3, what he says here, he says, we rely on what Christ Jesus has done for us, not on our own confidence or in our own effort. He says, though I could have confidence, I don't. He considered all that he had established, all that he had done, and as confidence that he could have in. But to Paul, who he was, where he came from, what he had accomplished, all of his ambition, all of his abilities, all of this did not matter. Do you find yourself having confidence more in the things of this world than you do in Christ? What do you rely on when things get difficult? Yourself? Others? Jesus? One way to check your confidence is to consider where you find your comfort. When things get difficult, when things get hard, when things don't go your way, 
when you're lonely, when you're, when you're sad, when you're discouraged, when you're tired, what do you turn to? Who do you turn to? When you're upset, sad, lonely, afraid, worried, confused. So many people find their worth in things other than Christ, in the things of this world, in things or in other people, or even in their own accomplishments or their own abilities. Yet, this is why there are so many stories of addiction, so many stories of self-harm, so many stories of substance abuse, and so many stories of suicide. When your confidence is broken, your faith is shaken, and when your faith and confidence are gone, so is your hope. So that is why it is vitally important for us to check our confidence and, and find out where we find our worth. And if our worth is not in Christ, we need to find our worth in knowing Christ. In verses 8 and 9, look at what he says here. He says, Yes, everything else, all of my accomplishments, all of my abilities, everything that I have accomplished, everything I have done, who I am and where I come from, all of it is worthless because of what Christ has done. Yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ, Jesus, my Lord. See, Paul considered all of this, all of his accomplishments, all of his things he has done, and he came to a conclusion that compared to knowing Christ, all of these things are simply garbage, trash. I think the King James says dung, uh, waste. It means nothing. It amounts to absolutely nothing. He decided to do something. He decided to discard it all, to get rid of it all, uh, and so that he could gain Christ. He traded the world. He traded his accomplishments. He traded who he was and where he came from, all of it, for knowing Christ, for having a relationship with Christ. Check your confidence. If it's not in Christ, then you don't find your worth in Jesus. The value of having a relationship with Jesus far surpasses anything this world could ever give us. Consider this. When you're hurting, don't turn to things or people to find comfort. They'll just leave you hurting more. Turn to Jesus. When you're lonely, don't fill the emptiness with something or someone. It'll just fill you even more hollow than you were before. Turn to Jesus. Don't turn to people or things that destroy your hope, but turn to Jesus who fulfills your hope. Your worth does not come from who you are or where you come from, or what you can do, or what you have accomplished. Your worth comes from Jesus Christ and what Jesus has done. Your worth is found in Christ. Your worth is found in where Christ has brought you from and what Christ has done for you and what Christ has accomplished on the cross. See, we have got to check our confidence and where we place our confidence. If we find ourselves having more confidence in the things of this world, if we find ourselves having more confidence in our own ability, in our own lives, and what we have done or who we are and what we've accomplished, we're utterly going to fall short in finding true joy. And that is what we're, tr we're trying to understand here, what Paul is explaining through the book of Philippians, is that we can have a joyful life when we find ourselves in a relationship with Christ. And you can only find true worth in Christ. And everything else this world can give us, everything else that this world can leave us, is going to be worthless in the end. We cannot take anything with us when we die. Job said it this way. He says, I came into this world without anything. I came into this world naked. And he says, that, ex that same way that I came into this world is the same way I'm going to leave this world. And so everything that is connected to Christ and every part of the relationship that you have with Christ is what you're going to have at the end. And that is what 
Paul says at the very, very last part of our passage here, he says this. He says, I don't say, mean to say that I've already achieved these things, that I've already reached perfection, but I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. He says, I, I press on towards the goal of the high calling of Jesus Christ. He says, my end goal, my finish line, my final result is the relationship that I have in Christ. And everything that we build in this life, if it goes towards that relationship with Christ, we can find true worth in knowing Christ. We can find true worth in that relationship with Christ. This is why Paul found one of the most important lessons he had ever learned in his entire life on the road to Damascus, that experiencing Christ changes absolutely everything. Experiencing Christ changes everything. He quickly found that out on that road to Damascus. That he came to the conclusion that Jesus is the key to the power of God. Look at what he says here. It says, uh, No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for the, which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. He says, I forget my past. Everything in my past was all about making me better, looking at how good I can seem or how people can look at me and say, look at what I've accomplished. I, he, he was the one that persecuted the church. He was the one that was the Hebrew of the Hebrews. He was the one that was born of good stock. He was a Jewish leader. Yet, when he met Jesus, when he experienced Christ, when he came face to face with Jesus Christ, all of that changed. All of who he was did not matter anymore. And he found his worth now in who Christ was and who Christ was calling him to be. His experience with Jesus forever changed Paul. It forever altered his path in life and eternity. When you experience Christ, your purpose changes, your attitude changes, your life changes, and your eternal destination changes. So my question for you is, have you experienced Christ? Do you have a personal relationship with the one who gave his life for yours? When you realize the relationship, you will never be the same. When you realize the relationship that you have with Christ, you will never be the same. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for someone to take your pain? Someone to hold you when you're scared? Someone to lead you when you feel lost? Someone to carry you when you can't go any farther? Realize the relationship that you have with Jesus, and I guarantee your life will never be the same again. See, experiencing Christ is not just a one-time moment or a one opportunity. It is an everyday occurrence. It's something that can happen daily if you let it. Christ can and will renew you each and every day and even into eternity. So for us, we have got to stop finding our worth in things of this world, finding our value in what this world can do for us. Because if we continue to try to find that value, if we continue to try to find that worth in the things of this world, we will end up hollow, empty, lost. But if we check our confidence and we find that we can put our confidence in the one that had gave his life for us, if we can put our confidence in Jesus Christ who stepped off of the throne and came and lived as a man and died on our cross, which we deserve because of our sin, we deserve that punishment, yet he took it upon himself and was obedient even to the death of the cross. If we can put our confidence in Jesus, then we can find true worth in who he is and what he's done and what he's doing in us. And Paul says, he says, I have not ob obtained that perfection. I have not achieved that perfection. He says, but I will because Christ is changing me from the inside out. And eventually, when I reach heaven's door, 
when I reach eternity, when I breathe my last breath on this earth, when I breathe my last moment, I spend my last moment here on earth, I will step into glory and I will realize the full potential of what Christ is doing in me or what Christ has done in me. And everything that we've talked about, how there's purpose in the pressures of life that we're going through and that our attitudes reveal our values and that our attitudes need to be adjusted so that we can reach others for Christ and that we are to live as lights so that we can shine that gospel. All of that boils down to when you reach that prize, when you step face to face with Jesus Christ and you look back at all he's done and you realize you either spent all of this time that you have here on earth focused in on something, trying to find worth in accomplishments, in things, in people that will ultimately leave you or you can start now and try to find value, try to find worth in your relationship with Christ. Realize that the relationship that you have with Jesus is the most important place that you can find true worth and true value. When you do that, the moment you see Jesus, you're going to do as it says in, in, later on in chapter 3, that you're going to fall down at Jesus' feet. You're going to bow and you're going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And that moment, that day, you're going to realize that Jesus is the most important relationship that you will ever have. So, have you experienced Christ? Are you experiencing Christ? Are you realizing the importance or value or worth of your relationship with Jesus? If not, today is the perfect time for you to begin finding value in your relationship with Jesus. Thank you for tuning in. I'm so uh, happy that we get an opportunity to go through this book, uh, Philippians, and we're slowly going to close this out. We've only got one more chapter. We're going to finish out chapter three next week, and then uh, we'll, fin we'll work on chapter four in the coming weeks. But I encourage you to continue to read through this. Um, I'm praying for you. I miss you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we're excited for what God is going to do and use this study and how he's going to uh, work in our lives. Once again, thank you for joining in. And we look, look forward to seeing you soon.